you know when you move away, you still like, have to keep in touch with your family. So your mom wonders, my son hasn't messaged me in a while. Oh my god, he's dead! And you have to send her a text message. Hey mom, I'm not dead. Oh good, keep me in the loop for any updates. KK, thanks mom, love you. I know. What if I told you there's a better way? Introducing I Love You Mom app. It sends a text message automatically every day to let your mom know that you aren't dead. Moms love it. I Love You Mom app. Hey, party people. This is Rocky, and let's talk about my project. Okay, so... Um, essentially, the core concept is the I Love You Mom app, right? So you send text messages. It's, it's essentially a tool to auto-send text messages at a certain time. And uh, I couldn't get this working just yet, which is you log in and, you know, then you can kind of access the content. So right now, everything is public. Um, but so is local, so it's fine for now. So let's kind of go through it, right? Uh, the core concept is you send a text message using a form. And let's do that right now, 01, uh, 18, 20, 20. And let's send this at 1 p.m. And the message we'll send is, hi, mom, just wanted, just wanted to see if you remembered my birthday tomorrow, lol, no, seriously. Okay, so that's the message. We're gonna hit submit. And what it does is it sends a post request. Isn't that neat? And let's kind of cover it through the technology. So we're using the standard Node.js, MongoDB, Mongoose, Passport, Postman, and uh, shout out to my instructor, Adam, for this recommendation of MongoDB Compass, which shows you a data, like a, the data of your, your files, of your documents. So the send request of the form is just like Postman. It you know, just does the same thing. So that's really neat. And I can show you a little bit of how that form works. So let's refresh. I just made that message. Um, should be, here it is. Hi, Mom. Just want to see you remember my birthday tomorrow. Cool. Here it is on the 18th, everything works. And the data format is, was the message sent? False. What time to send the message and when to send the message. And this kind of flag is there for, um, to make it easier when it's the cron job is firing, which I haven't also set up. So let's look at how the form is set up. So the form, that front end part, is actually creating that post request. And that looks like this. Uh, make JS, is it? No. It's, make HTML. Okay, it's a standard form, right? Pure HTML form, the input data is a post request sending it to that um, this route. The, the values are when to send message and the message itself. Very simple stuff. And so how, let's, let's talk about a challenge. That was creating the form, firing off the SMS. How does that work? So Twilio is the API I use to um, have this set up. And I encapsulate the entire like function into this, like, I popped it right here. Very simple stuff. Um, the body, where to send the message from, and where to send it to. And that's all variables that's being pulled from somewhere else. And let's look at the text message. So let's see if it sends. We're going to grab this code, and it's very much like the dish comment ID routes and stuff. And we're going to click send, type in send. And then it, and if it works, it sends. Yep, my console message says it sends and looks good. And then we're going to check uh, MongoDB. So it was originally false. This should now be true. Refresh. True. Perfect. So it was sent. Um, so how is that working? So it's in a function called that I wrote myself called send text message. And the route was a get request on that ID. See text, text message ID send get request. It is working, and this is it. Send if it's uh, if it exists, send it. So that's how you how I uh, did the whole fire SMS. Now the main issue I had is that Twilio actually disabled my account a few days ago because I stupidly did the dumbest thing ever. I actually put my security keys in my GitHub project, which is public, um, and. Twilio was like, yeah, you dummy, don't do that. And I, here it is. Like, I actually put in the comments before I updated it. I didn't delete the comments. So they disabled my account for now, and I, I'm going to make sure they, um, you know, fix it before, before I actually make this work. So I'm not actually getting text messages right now, but I have been getting it in the prior times before I stupidly uploaded it. 
So that is my project in a nutshell. Um, some other things is uh, setting up the whole login so things are working correctly and the cron job. But that's the I Love You app. And uh, yeah, happy to answer any questions. Thank you.